So what were your thoughts, by the way? I'll ask you about the the Eagles as it's the third time that you saw them last night. Obviously, you saw a really banged up Jalen Hurts taking his own plane to get there so as not to infect his teammates. But what were your thoughts on seeing how this team has changed over the course of one season? Um, I think any team that exits the, the world that they were in a year ago, um, so incredibly powerful, all the way to the Super Bowl, high expectations and in that Philly market, which is very demanding. Um, uh, I, I, I think there's probably, as we're seeing with the chiefs, although they've been a little bit more resilient being the three of the last four Super Bowls and winning two of them. Um, you leave that Super Bowl and, and you're exhausted. Um, I, 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 I've seen it with so many teams. That's what makes what the chiefs and the Cowboys and the Patriots and these, kind of these dynastic franchises we've had over the last 30, 40 years, Pittsburgh, certainly uh, to, to do what they've done and done it for so long is, is such an accomplishment. The wear and tear that you, you take physically, emotionally, the toll is so great that to rebound the way the chiefs have done and been as good as they've been for so long here in these four or five years is just amazing. And, and Philadelphia got a taste of it. Maybe somewhat surprisingly that Hertz jumped up and has flourished as much as he has. But then they've changed, right? They've changed from the days of Doug Peterson out of Nick Sirianni. So they've had a nice little, you know, moment in time here in the NFL. But it, it, it wears on you after a while. And they've had the target on their back like the Chiefs have had. And and they've, they've lived with it well. I, I do think that all these teams hit troughs San Francisco we had a three game losing streak how they've rebounded and they're as good as ever I think Philadelphia is going to be the same way I don't think Hertz is 100% healthy we know he was ill last night but he, he physically he just does not look right to me for whatever reason I'm, I'm not sure I don't know if it's ankle shoulder maybe it's everything with all these guys but it, it seems like they're a little worn right now uh, they'll, they'll bounce back. They'll they'll be the team we think they are when it matters most in January. I have, I have all the confidence in the world. The Eagles will not disappoint. Kevin, you were not surprisingly very, very diplomatic in your description of the Philadelphia market, having been a visiting team in Philadelphia. I'll just leave it at that. You were diplomatic. But the point you make about coming off a Super Bowl, particularly for the Eagles, having lost the Super Bowl, resonated with me. After we lost the Super Bowl, Andrea Kramer asked me how we were going to deal with the Super Bowl hangover for the, the, the losing team. And I scoffed at her and said, oh, there's no such thing. They just made... There is such a thing. And when you come off losing a Super Bowl, it is rough to get your feet back under you. So, you know, there's two ways to look at Philadelphia, which is they lost the last three, but they did really well to start the season. I think they ran out to 10 and one. They did. And, and I, I think that is really what they are and not maybe what we've seen over the last handful of weeks. Um, they have a uh, difficult schedule but i mean everybody's schedule's hard so and they wouldn't use that as an excuse and they've had some guys banged up on the offensive line they lost the right guard again jurgens they didn't have him last night and um and, and i i just don't think they're a uh, hundred percent completely healthy listen um they knew going in that they had clinched a playoff spot last night whether it was a letdown mm -hmm. traveling across the country not knowing who was going to be the quarterback. It could have been a hundred different things. <clears throat> I do think that they are going to be very strong when it matters the most. Now it's to see, can they be the number one team in the, in the NFC? It's going to be tough the way San Francisco's playing. San Francisco smells blood too. They went in there last year in the NFC championship game, lost their quarterback, and they were a shell of what they are and what they were last year. I, I think they're on a revenge tour. The Niners are. I think they got the quarterback right where they want him. They got healthy left tackle. Williams, he healthy. Uh, the, 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 the Swiss Army knife and Debo Samuel, they're, they're, they're ready to go. They smell blood. Uh, they're going to be a tough team to beat. But Philadelphia will give them a good shot. I, I just think that maybe a couple things are working against the Eagles last night. Uh, going down to Dallas is a tough place to play, and they found that out. Dallas at home is 
is, has been unbeatable and uh, 15, what straight wins and mm -hmm. plus 171 uh, plus minus differential point differential. I mean, they've just been incredibly good. They've been as good at home as they've been bad on the road and bad against good teams on the road. So, um, but San Francisco, uh, they, they clearly are the team to beat right now. Check out new episodes of What the Football with Susie Schuster and Amy Trask every Tuesday. Watch us on the Rich Eisen Show YouTube page or follow and listen wherever you get your podcasts.